Swati as Malik, she is an engineer. As you mentioned in your talk that Hindus say, sun, moon, snake and monkey is God. Basically, it's not like that. We Hindus don't believe that the above mentioned things are God. But we believe that God is everywhere. God is in each and everything. God is in coat. God is in air, in fire. Does Islam believe the same? If not, then why? What's wrong in this? The question posed was that they believe that the moon, the sun, the tree, they aren't God, but God is present everywhere. Since God is present everywhere, therefore, we worship it. What does Islam believe? See, the Holy Quran says that wherever you turn your face, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is everywhere. But what does it mean? Are you talking Allah is present physically? When Quran says Allah is everywhere, do you mean to say physical? My question is, what do you mean Allah is everywhere? Is it physical? If physical, if you believe Allah is physical, then you should be able to see it. No, I can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not physical. The knowledge of Allah is everywhere. The knowledge of Allah is everywhere. Allah has power over all things. But physically, He's not everywhere. Therefore, the Quran gives the logic in Surah Shura, chapter 42, verse number 11. Laisa kamisli shay. There's nothing unto him. Nothing like whatever unto him. So I'm telling you, the moment you worship the sun, do you mean to say God is only there, nowhere else? Or even if I agree with you, okay, you say God is everywhere, sake of argument, I agree with you. But then you're worshipping only a small part of God. The tree, very small in the full universe, speck. That means... Indirectly, you are saying well, God is so small, only in the tree, only in the snake. So therefore, if you have to worship, worship the true God Almighty. Even though his knowledge is present everywhere, he is present everywhere, not in the physical form. Hope that answers the question.